All right, we are one day away from our Carnival Breeze uh, cruise, and all our big bags are pretty much packed. So today, the goal is to get all this camera and other accessories into that backpack for my carry-on. I don't think it'll be too bad. This is a um, 511 tactical bag. That's who I got it from. Uh, I forgot the name of it, I'll link it. Real nice, I think it's about a 22 liter bag. I used to use a low pro bag, which are fantastic bags, but more suited towards specific camera stuff. And since I don't carry a huge DSLR and all that stuff anymore, I wanted something that has more space that I can just put whatever in. Usually I start out by <coughs> bringing the Mavic uh, Pro. This is a little uh, hard shell, soft hard shell case. And this is the Mavic and this is the controller over here. Usually I'll start in by stuffing these in the bottom, which fits great. But I think I have room in our uh, regular suitcase, our accessory case to put that in. So I'm probably gonna try to fit that since that's nothing I need immediately. I had a little issue with security last time, so if I can stick it in that bag, that might be better off. But anyways, we'll start off with, oh, that's a lot. <clears throat> These are Think Tank uh, cable bags. They're about 20 bucks. Everything I talk about today, I'll put on, uh, put links to Amazon or wherever I found them. Uh, I got two of these. These just hold miscellaneous camera gear. I got a little uh, Joby tripod for the action cam. It just has stuff like lens cleaners, uh, the case for the action cam, just stuff like that. Uh, real nice bags, a little expensive for what they are, but they work. I've used them a lot of trips and they've held up pretty well. The other one has the battery chargers for the Mavic and for the cameras and just some other wires related to that. So we don't need those really immediately. So we'll just stick those in the very bottom. Next up we have a pair of uh, binoculars, mini binoculars from Bushnell. Nothing fancy, nothing too expensive, but we uh, saw people using them on our last cruise and my wife was like, oh, I want to get some. So these were a lightning deal on Amazon. So, you know, why not? Stick those. Next up, uh, first aid kit. I used a Maxpedition pouch. Um, this is all just kind of basic stuff. Uh, itch cream, Neosporin type, various pain meds. Um, some aspirin tweezers, there's some other meds, uh, bandages, eye uh, drops, things like that. So just a basic kit, but always good to have. Uh, these are also ooh, zippers. These Max Edition bags are also nice. I also use ones from VanQuest. Uh, we'll stick that there. Uh, let's see. Next, we have the... This is an LED light from Ap Aperture. Uh, this is a real nice light. Very small, about the size of a credit card. Uh, try to figure out how to work it. There you go. So, very bright. So, this was inexpensive. I can't remember exactly how much, but it wasn't that much. But it's great if you need to do some nighttime video or even photography or just need a light. There. Um, all right, this is a case from, I don't know how to say it, BUBM. These brand, this brand was recommended by Tony from the La Lita Loca, I believe. Um, it was a different one he used, I think, but the brand has different sizes and colors and you know, all that stuff. I got the folding one. So I thought it was best to have a hard drive, portable hard drive, and a, this is like a, a mini router 
from Raft Power so I can take the images and videos from the cameras and it'll automatically, or not automatically, but you can transfer them to your hard drive. So that way I don't have to bring a laptop or anything. You just use an app uh, on your phone to transfer. Used it here, but not on vacation, so it seemed to work fine, but we'll see. Uh, it's a neat thing. The rest of this is just USB cables, lightning cables, USB-C cable, batteries. Uh, I'll put uh, cables for our Apple Watches and uh, anything else like that will go in here. But it's a nice folding case. It clips. This was anything. This was again. This was only like 10, 12 bucks on Amazon. Something inexpensive. And it's real nice. A Joby Gorilla Pod. That'll be for the uh, RX100. That's our main camera vlogging cam. So that'll go on there. Got the hard case for that. Another hard case has our Sony uh, X3000 action cam, 4K. This is the same as like a GoPro. I don't like GoPros. Had a lot of problems with them. Got the Sony, it's fantastic. Um, for the RS100, also have a nice uh, paracord wrist strap in case I need it. So we'll put those at the top. I have several of these. Remember on Carnival, and I guess most cruise lines, you can't have surge protected, so these are non-surge protected. You get these at Walmart for like $1.50, something, something under two bucks. So I have, I got about four of those for our room, uh, for my daughter's other room. Um, I guess I'll stuff them in here. I might, I'll probably give a couple, actually, yeah, I'll give the other two to them. They can figure out what they're gonna do with them. Uh, let's see. Another great thing, especially if you have electronics and cameras, is this is from uh, Raft Power. It's a one, two, three, four, five, six outlet USB charger that plugs in. You can throw everything in there and everything's charged. Uh, let's see. Hmm. Little stuff, microfiber towels for the beach. You don't have to carry a big towel. These things are pretty awesome. Inexpensive too. Got a couple of those somewhere around floating around. Uh, this is just a cooling towel. We'll just take those. They don't take up much space. Uh, dry bag. Just a simple dry bag, nothing fancy. I got that at Academy for just a couple bucks. We'll stick that in the pockets we have up here. The other nice thing about this bag is you have a couple pockets you can put stuff here. Uh, oh, the important thing memory cards memory cards for the mavic and the sony camera or the sony action cam and all for the rx100 put that towards the top since that will get used um, lanyard one lanyard and we have our custom lanyards that we're taking so those and the wrist strap will go in the top in case we need them. Shove them in there nice and tidy. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, let's see what else we got. Uh, oh, yeah. Just some uh, insect propellant in case we need it. Some wipes and a battery. From RAV power, you can charge about iPhones or iPads about two, three times with this. Really nice. I have a lot of RAV power stuff. They make real good stuff. Um, that's well, that's kind of about it. That's not bad. Ah, blood sugar. If you're diabetic, you need that. So throw that there. And the rest is just packing in the cameras. 
Um, I'll probably use the RX100 when we leave. So, oh, oh, oh. Our cups, our custom cups. There's a side pocket here. Just screw that in. So, uh, not bad at all. So, that's really about it. Like I said, just some of the camera stuff. I'm not sure where I'm going to put it or what I'm going to bring. So, I'll wait. Oh, and I didn't even open this yet. Got a monopod from Me Photo. Um, not that big. So, I'll just take it once I unbox it. I'll take it and put it there. And that's most of my camera stuff, onboard stuff. I'll probably, I also got to take some, uh, some of the medications, my contacts and stuff, you know, little personal items. It'll just go right on top, no big deal. So that is my uh, carry on, my backpack. When we go to port or when we check in the room or get to the room, I'll just take out the stuff I don't necessarily need all the time. Then when we go to port, put in the camera stuff or, you know, whatever we're gonna need that day and we'll be all set. So. That's how I pack my day bag. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I'll put all the links to the, to the goodies in the description below. Please like and subscribe, and see you later.